Aloha everybody, this is Dr. Beth Ann, and this is October's issue of Intuitive You. We are talking about creative courage this month, and in this short video, I'm going to share what, what exactly is creative courage, what do I mean when I use that term, and then a very easy way that you can access creative courage in your life. So when I talk about creative courage, I think about creative courage as finding the, the bravery of heart that we need to choose love and make empowered choices in our life that move us in the direction that we want to go. Creative courage is what allows us to say yes to our dreams, to say yes to stepping outside of our comfort zone and trying something new because something inside of us feels called to do so even if we don't know where it's leading us. Creative courage is what helps us craft a response, a thoughtful response, you know, in the challenges of our modern day world that comes from a place of love and not fear or anger or reactivity. Creative courage is what helps us navigate the you know, political and environmental and um, global landscape um, and hold space for the light and ask ourselves the question, how can I move through this in a way that feels empowering to me, in a way that serves the world, and in a way that keeps me in alignment with myself and my heart. So creative courage is not something that you can like package up and hand somebody. <laughs> you know, this isn't, here's five steps of inspiration to a more creative, you know, courageous you. We can come up with that stuff, but you have to do the steps in order to like find what you need within yourself. It's really about empowering yourself to make choices in your life this is the tough part, regardless of what's going on in your life, to try and keep moving it in the direction you want to go. And a beautiful metaphor for this is think about if you were like in the wilderness and all you had was a compass, right? There's no trail because you get to blaze your own trail. You're not walking a trail that somebody's walked before. You are walking your trail and it is unique and it is untrodden and from time to time you might kind of stray across a greater path that others have walked before. But for the most part, you're gonna be making it up on the fly. This is you empowering the co-creator inside of you. So if you had a compass and you knew that you needed to head north, but you also knew that there was like a hundred different ways to get there. There wasn't one right way. You would walk in the direction that felt best. You would have to trust your judgment. If you had any survival skills, you would have to trust those. And what you would do is keep checking your compass and saying, am I still going north? Am I still going north? And you would course correct along the way. And that's really the essence of having creative courage in our life. It's thinking about who do we want to be in this world? Do we want to be a person of light, a person of truth, somebody walking the beauty way, somebody helping the environment, somebody who's a really strong voice for social justice? You know, do we feel called to be a writer, be a creative? This is a whole mix and collage of who we feel called to be as a human being and how we feel called to serve and also just who we want to be energetically and what we want to hold space for. So you craft that vision for yourself, that's your north, and then you keep checking your compass as you go. Am I making choices that move me in this direction? Am I still moving in this direction? And if the answer is no, then you get to ask yourself, okay, why not? <laughs> we don't beat ourselves up for going astray. Remember, there's no path here. So there's not really a mistake you can make. Like you haven't lost your path, like you are the path. Um, but you do ask yourself, well, if I kind of got off course, where was that? And how can I re-navigate? How can I check back in and be in alignment? How can I be more true to myself? So that is really what creative courage is. And the heart-based transmission that I want to share today, because this is really what this is, this is us activating our hearts, is a very simple thing that you can do when you are, we'll say lost in the wilderness, and you're like, I don't know what the right thing to do is. I don't know what I feel. I don't know if my mind's spinning out and it's telling me something. I don't know if this is my intuition. You know, I don't know. Um, this is something really simple you can do. And I'm giving you a heart-based transmission because we're talking about the courage to create the lives that lead us in the direction of who we wanna be. And to use a fun metaphor, 
when the Cowardly Lion from the Wizard of Oz said um, that he wanted courage because he felt cowardly and he wanted to live more bravely. He didn't ask for like a belly full of fire where he was angry and that's what gave him the momentum to move in that direction. And he didn't ask for like a super sharp mind that was continually being inspired with new ideas. He asked for a heart. He wanted a heart. He wanted a heart because even in like this simple, beautiful metaphor of the Wizard of Oz, um, he knew that it was his heart that was going to give him the courage, that was going to give him that inner fire and inner direction to help him move um, and show up more powerfully in his little lion self, <laughs> the yellow brick road. So the heart-based transmission is so easy. When you are lost, when you are confused, all you have to do is take a moment Put your hand on your heart. I encourage you to close your eyes and to breathe because that kind of helps us shift gears out of our mental chatter. Um, think of it like we want to shift a bicycle gear or car gear from like the mind gear that can spin to like a lower one that's going to support us. So as you're focusing on your heart, I want you to think of something that represents the energy of love to you, whatever that is whatever that is something very simple i feel is best because love's not complicated at its core so animals are really beautiful being out in nature is really beautiful babies are beautiful but whatever speaks to you a favorite memory that um, has no nothing sad or negative attached just something that's precious to you focus on that allow that energy to flow through your heart and then when that feels good to you and you feel you're in your heart, come back to what it is you're thinking about and say, what direction do I need to go? And trust the wisdom that comes through. I'm going to end with a poem called Choices from my book, Heliotrope Nights. And um, this just feels like a really beautiful way to sum up what we're talking about with creative courage. The choices and are today's determine the who's will become tomorrow. Will we be dark or light, fear or love, big and whole and brave, or scared and split and small? Don't forget that trying to stop the turn of tide is like trying to hold the Big Bang inside of your fist. The universe will find a way to explode in dynamic motion anyways and sweep us along in its ways of change. Fear not, my dear one, for the stars still light the way and anywhere where love is found will never be torn asunder. No matter how lost you feel you might be on the path, if you can come back to the space, you can find a way to come back into the space, you will find the direction you need. Maybe not right away, maybe you have to keep coming back to it, but it will come to you. And that is what will give you the courage of heart to creatively make the choice that crafts and um, builds the life and the being that you want to be in this world. Thank you so much for joining me in this video today. This video of Intuitive You is attached to my monthly intuitive living newsletter. So if you happen to wander onto YouTube and you don't know anything about the intuitive living letter, you're welcome to come over to my site at drbethann.com. It's in the write-up as well. Um, and check it out. You get a monthly letter that also has some intuitive writing prompts and an intuitive activity along with more poetry and heart magic. All right, be well and be loved, and I will see everybody next month.